How to, how you do guys? Uh, listen, it's Rusty here, and I just ran into a little problem, a little issue. I want to tell you about it in case uh, maybe I could help you prevent this sort of situation happening to you in the future. We're talking about reselling Nike shoes on eBay and a potential problem you can run into. Take a look at this. As you can see, I bought from Nike a pair of Jordan 1 Retro Hi OG Hyper Royal shoes. Fantastic. I paid $270 for them, I think, and I sold them for $355, as you can see there. I got an email today saying that the case is pending, that it did not pass authenticity review, meaning they were saying it wasn't authentic. What? All right, guys, here's the situation. I got this email, and I thought, are you kidding me? I bought these shoes directly from Nike, the manufacturer, on their Nike app. You know, when they drop at 10 a.m. and you put in to try to get them and you just cross your fingers and in 15 minutes they're going to tell you whether or not you were selected to purchase them or not because they're, you know, sought after. About one out of every 12 of those that I try to get, I'll actually get selected. So 11 out of 12 of them says, sorry, you were not selected. This particular one was pretty sought after and I got it. I bought it. I immediately, uh, you know, I... I got it. I got the uh, receipt, the uh, email receipt. Uh, I got tracking from, from Nike. Nike says, your your shoes are on their way. Uh, when they arrived, they have the email receipt saying that they arrived. I open them up. Sure enough, it is the shoes that I bought. Um, I open up the box itself just to take photos. I don't even take them out of the box. I leave them in the original box, take photos. I list them. I sell them. And then I ship them in that box off. I've done this maybe 20 sometimes in the last six months. And this is the first one that came back saying it is inauthentic. And I thought, how is that even possible? It came directly from Nike, the manufacturer. So I called eBay. And this is what they said. Rusty, they said, it actually looks like the shoes are authentic. But the problem is that the SKU number in the code on the box does not match the shoes themselves. What probably happened is that Nike put them in the wrong box or put them, uh, put the wrong skew on the box. So the, the shoes themselves and the skew that correspond with that particular shoe did not match and therefore it failed. If anything about the whole package, the paper, the box, if the box has a dent in it and you don't put that in the description, if, if there's any difference in it than it should be, they're going to fail it. He said, this guy on eBay said, uh, that I talked with said, this happens all the time. And I said, well, how can I prevent this from happening? And he said, well, unless you sell tons of shoes and have multiple of the same item and you can compare SKUs, you won't know. Sorry this happened to you. But either way, the buyer, you're going to get the shoes back. As soon as they're back to you, the buyer's going to get their money back. He said, after that happens and the case closes, only then can you reach back out to the buyer and say, hey, this is what happened. Do you want to buy them again? And I said, well, I want to resell these shoes. What do I do? And he said, just put in the description that the SKU number on the box and the shoes themselves do not match. If you do that, it'll pass. I'm not totally convinced that that will work for me, but I'm going to try it. When I get them back, I'm going to reach out and say, I'm so sorry. Do you still want them? I'll sell them right back to you. Sorry, it's taken so long, but this is what they told me when I called customer support of eBay. He was real nice. But I'm bummed out because that's $355 I got to send back for something I didn't do. And, you know, didn't do anything wrong there. So if you are going to buy and resell Nike shoes, which I recommend because there is money to be made there, just make sure you really review it. Get on and see comps. Look at the SKU number and make sure that that SKU number matches the SKUs on the box, even if you bought it directly from a Nike store or the Nike manufacturer. That's a pro tip from Rusty at Rusty Bargain Warehouse. Good luck out there. Here's an update. Update email says, make sure to accurately capture any defects. Using stock images or screenshots, be sure to use original accessories. Carefully package it, so you really gotta watch what you're doing, guys, or else you'll run into the same problem I had. Good luck out there, I hope you guys can avoid it. Rusty, Rusty have